Get ready to level up your apartments with our latest Insider Access feature, Buildly. Design minigames in your apartments with this new feature. Buildly is simple to use. Lucky you, we are here to tell you the basics. Here are the nodes currently available. The Buildly Creator Kit contains 11 different nodes. They each do different things. Button, a Buildly node that can be pressed. Trigger Zone, a Buildly node used to detect applicants entering a trigger zone. Chance, a Buildly node that flips a coin to determine an outcome. Countdown, a Buildly node used to count down time. Counter, a Buildly node used to increase or decrease a counter. Pickup, a building node used to spawn an object. Teleport, a building node used to teleport an avocant. Move, a building node used to walk an avocant to a set location. Splitter, a building node used to split a receiving channel into two sender channels. Participants, a building node used to detect avocants joining and leaving an apartment. Dialog, a building node used to display a dialog panel to an avocant. It's important to know that some nodes can only be seen in editing mode as they work behind the scenes. Each node have receivers, senders, and settings depending on what they do. The nodes will react to each other depending on what channel they're in. Let's say you want to teleport an alpha king when they press a button. To get started, make sure you're on editing mode, click the button node. Under senders, you'll see the when press send to option. Pick a channel and make sure it will match the channel of the teleport node you want the Athakin to teleport to. In this case, let's put channel 1. Exit the button node and approach the teleport node. Click the teleport node and under receivers, you'll see teleport when receiving form. Now, let's match the channel we put in the button to this node and let's put channel 1. Exit. Now, go to playing mode and try the button out. Now that you know how to use the button, now let's try to use the trigger zone. Unlike the button where players need to interact with it to be able to enable its action, the trigger zone will have a radius and once the player walks in the radius, the action will automatically be enabled. To do this, go on editing mode. Click the trigger zone. Under senders, you'll see on entry send signal 2. And since channel 1 is already in use, this time we'll use channel 2. You can also adjust how big your radius want to be. Once done, exit. Now approach the move node and on the receivers, you'll see move avocant when receiving from. We have to match it to the trigger node, so we'll put channel 2 for the two nodes to connect. Exit, go to player mode and try it out. Now, let's try multiple connections. Don't get intimidated, this one's easy. First, we have to connect the button to the dialog node. On editing mode, click the button and under senders, choose channel 3. Now, click the dialog node. Under receivers, you'll see a show text when receiving from. And choose channel 3. Now, the dialog box should appear every time you click that button. Now back to the dialog node, scroll down and under settings, you'll have the option to add your title and your main text. This is useful for giving instructions to your game. Another use for the dialog node are quizzes. You can add your question on the main text a maximum of 300 characters. And you can give them two answer options, which are button 1 and button 2 text. Once you fill it out, you can scroll up and under senders, you can choose two new destinations. Let's say when button 1 is pressed, send signal to channel 4. And when button 2 is pressed, send signal to channel 5. Now, approach one of the teleport nodes and under receivers, teleport Avakin when receiving from channel 4. Exit. Click the other teleport node and under receivers, teleport Avakin when receiving from channel 5. Exit and done. Now you can try it out. Now you know the basics, you can now try and build your own game. I have built my own minigame using the Buildly Notes. It is a story game where the Avakin in-house brand magazine Avakin Closet is looking for the next cover model for their next issue. 
And yes, we are actually looking for our next coffee star. So if you want to try out your modeling skills and explore the fashionable world of African Closet, in-game you can go on travel, search, and just type my username. The minigame should pop up. Good luck!